yeah. Tom and Jerry. Oh, that was that was you, the you, play. The strat was for me was you go home to Tom and Jerry and you wait for that rerun of the 3 p.m. cartoons. Yeah, yeah. From Cartoon Network. Oh man, it's godlike. Anyway, we'll see what godlike plays we might be able to see from Dragon on T3 Dom. Let's get into game one. Already starts off with the cross. I mentioned earlier he loves to confirm into those specials, and you mentioned how he loves to find those punishes. Yeah, and T3 Dom here does. Also wants to control all, all the space here, throwing out those crosses and occasional whips. Oh, actually misses the forward air confirm off of the uh, holy water there. Good use of one special, really trying to call Dragneel for going for an aerial out of the ledge, but unfortunately missing the mark. All right, goes with the, well, with the holy water again, expecting the, uh, the uppy to go a different Ooh. direction. But gets it off stage and nice. Catches him with a nair here. Is he going to catch it? Oh, no, no. no. So what he might have been trying to go for is a 45 degree angle forward air so that he can actually get that tether. That's the longest tether range that Richter and Simon can get. Uh, and T T3 actually still in this, still pushing Dragno back off stage. And Dragno trying to control center stage once again. Backs off a little bit with the auto reticle and gets hit back off stage with the slide. Ooh, that was really good. He already had the Holy Water set up in a forward smash in play. Sends up the cross to cover the neutral plane here. At this opportunity, Dragneel has to pick the right option. Is he gonna jump out of the shield? And T3 Dom continues the pressure on it too. I love what T3 Dom has been doing actually. He's been throwing the whip down. Uh, he's been back airing with <laughs> downward angle whip. And if he thinks he's gonna jump, he covers it already with the, uh, with the, the cross? angle upward. Mm -hmm. With the angle upward whip. Yeah, 45 degree angles is usually the where you see the forward airs go for T3 Dom because he knows when it's the right opportunity. All right, oh, very nice even. call out. <laughs> he wasn't afraid to actually parry his own. He said, I got you. Like, you got my number, I got it back. <laughs> Give me my cross. All right, smacks her knee right there. Goes with another hatchet. Gets hit with another nair and is back. Oh, wow, catch him with a downer. I've never seen that. Nice, he waits. He's got the opportunity. All right, that's what I'm saying. He's waiting. He knows he sent out that cross for a reason, and Dragneel seemed to forgot why. All right, gets him with the forward air after the cross confirm. Another holy water. Gets him with the back air again. Hatchet. With a tool. All this setup play. Nice. I love the use of the up air. He thought he was going to try to go for an aerial or come from a jump. Up air, once again, nice. The way that the cross sends up allows Teacher to confirm into a lot of aerials. Another holy holy water just covering that option. It's gonna go for the up tilt. Ooh. Oh, I love that because usually anybody's play here would be trying to DI towards the ledges to reset yourself. And then T3 was not afraid to go for that option, man. He is definitely stealing the lead that Dragneel once had. Smacked her hands with that tip of the whip. Alright, gonna go with the jump murder and nope. He's he air dodge here. He has to get he has to eat that back air for that. Oh, miss back air. That's one of the things about the 45 degree angle back air is that you can miss it because it does have a little bit of that dead zone that doesn't cover. Yeah. All right, throws out a Holy Cross, actually predicts the jump again, and all the setup play, not able to catch him with the Holy Water afterwards. Another whip into Holy Cross there. Oh, missing the down air. That was really good though. He's still able to find himself right back on the stage. Nice. I like it. Just waiting until Palutena's Nair was down before he decided to go back up. Another holy water, and Palutena. Oh, oh. Get, no. no okay, that was, that was nice. That man was gone. That man was gone. But Dragneo is not afraid to take things back for him and take the game away from T3. He knew T3 had this, and that forward smash was actually had the win box to finish off T3 afterwards. But he, he saved them, but he put him back off the stage. So it works. Out I again. actually think that um, T3 was still gonna make it back because because of his drift after the uppy, he was still coming back afterwards, and. Uh, Dragon was able to cover it up with the Nair and caught him, uh, caught him trying to recover after that. Yeah, okay. I see it. I definitely missed it. I thought, I thought the windbox was enough, too. I actually thought the windbox was enough, too, but after the drift, T3, uh, after the, uh, the windbox, T3 actually would have made it back after the upbeat drift. Mm -hmm. I can see it, too, the way that he had a little something just close enough. But hey, man, that game was definitely close enough, and we'll see if T3 can definitely make sure that last game was going to be farther in the next game. Yeah, and that cross just interrupting that up air there. Very nice placement from, from T3 again. With this back air, just forcing Dragneo back, but Dragneo finds the opening, gets the nair fair. True. So close. All right, ooh, just, just crouching under that, that back air there. Again, playing backwards, trying to get him back with an auto radical, but these well-placed 45 degrees are just 
catching Dragneel. I mean, said so we taking geometry class in 2020, man. Did you graduate? I hope you did. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, bro, I barely passed geometry class. Richter is a nightmare. <laughs> Yo, man, I actually love geometry. <laughs> Some people didn't like it, man. I hated algebra. Bro. Hey, man, T3 Dom seems to love geometry with all these angles he's been throwing out here. Yeah, he, he, I think he's electrical engineering as a major, so my man is well accustomed to what angles he might be trying to hit. All right, gets him with the tip of the whip again. And ooh, holy water, just a little bit too early. Guess throw the hatchet. I like it because a lot of people would want to air dodge. Ooh, that air, air dodge actually killed Dragon on the blast zone there. Send her flying back into kill, yeah, into the kill zone. Ooh, ooh, close. Yeah, that was that was actually really good from Dragon there, but a little bit too early on that. Nice, Dash Jack is able to cross up. And let's put T3 Dome a little bit closer to the center stage. Oh. Cross actually going to cancel out these auto reticles. He used it again. Very nice. And that cross is holy. It says, e the Eagle Green, be gone. <laughs> be gone, monster. <laughs> I ain't trying to sub to that holy fans, man. Just get me <laughs> back on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, down to the forward air here. T3 in a little bit of a heap of trouble. Does not have the actual spacing to get that forward air to get the um, tether. Just a little bit off here and does get him with the air dodge read back air. I like it. Again, trying to catch him with a jump with the up air there. Another setup here, and he can't hold on to it that long. That hatchet will catch you. All right. Oh, I like it, too, because he wanted to make sure, you know what, I have something out of play just in case he tried to hit my shield. We mentioned earlier, if you've been watching all night, if you go and you have a character that has a great out of shield option, especially in terms of a special up B, you have a lot of things to work with. Yeah, and, and I believe the Belmonts are one of the best, uh, have one one of the better up B out of shield options. Wow. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Very what? similar to Marts. So, uh, Explosive Flame seemed to have triggered the Holy Water, and TD Dom was just not ready for the Holy Water to hit him. Yeah, so the Holy Water, unless it will only activate the flames if it touches the ground. If it doesn't touch the ground, it can be exploded or hit by something. All right. All right, gets the Nair into back air here. Drag Ooh, nice, Neil. nice. Yeah, it looked like he was going to go for, he was trying to catch him on the low recovery. Oh, no, oh. gets stretchered. Just a little, a little bit too late. I, mean, I thought he could escape the entire uh, arsenal of the Belmonts, but unfortunately he found himself off the stage. Whoa, oh, huh? Intangibility frames are, are wild sometimes, because I, I felt like that should have hit. Nice. This So I love the adaption that we're seeing from T3 is he's avoiding going that extra low plane in which Neutral will be able to hit him. Back air to seal the deal, man. I'm telling you, this game is really close, and it's for a reason, because Dragneo definitely has T3's number. All right, all, again, with the setup play here, throws another Holy Water. No, I'm not going to catch him forward with throw? the forward smash. Mm -hmm. Love the forward throw option. Get him back to the ledge here and misses the forward smash. So a little bit misplaced. Oh, I love that smash, too. He wanted to make sure there was something threatening Dragneo. Yeah, Dragnail just got out of there with a teleport. That was very oh. smart. And guess what? With... Yo, excuse Ooh, me, man. What okay. a play. Okay. I'm sorry. We're hyped for something so simple, but man, man made it look so great. Forward smash to do it after the Holy Water. T3 is right back in the mark. 1-1 one, one apiece. Game 3, Dragnail and T3 putting out a show. Yeah, he actually caught, he caught him on the shield poke. Caught his head a little bit too, too out of the shield there. Mm -hmm. Literally perfect setup for T3 right yeah. there. Yeah. And that's the one thing you have to understand, too. Shield poking is a lot more prevalent in this game. You have to make sure you're angling your shield. If you guys are watching back at home, how do I angle my shield so easily? Well, if you have two specials, I'm sorry, if you have a special and the shield button, you can do so, unless you're inkling, in which way you're required to have two shield buttons to angle. Yeah, yeah. Always make sure, at the very least, uh, to have double shields. Yeah. At the very least. Especially, yeah, especially if you're inkling. Like, you, you want to make sure you have that. Just hold it, if you're, like, using Heat Cuber or anything, just to hold pull L and R together and yeah. you'll be able to find. Don't use the special button because you'll just go and refill your ink. I mean, you still got that super low profile. <laughs> your yeah. opponent can't really hit you in, but still, yeah, really good to understand really how to anger your shield to avoid shield pokes. So yeah. game three here, Dragon is going back to Palu. T3 sticking on the Richter. He's playing this matchup so well. Yeah, it, uh, it doesn't look like he's being a, uh, as oppressed as uh, as I normally would think uh, the Belmonts would be in this matchup here, but with how prevalent Palutena is in this meta, T3 Dom has a lot of experience in this matchup here. Yeah. We talked about it earlier, man. It's been the talk of the night, right? Metas. You have to know them, you have to understand them, and you have to learn them.
Yeah, and again, catching him on the jump onto the platform with the up tilt there. And I love the only cross, just catching him on the roll there. Holy Water again, and that jump out of Forge Smash just gonna save him for a bit. Up out of shield again, gonna push it back to ledge. Ooh, Ooh that I'm was a so that's a lot of fear there from Dragneel because he sees the Holy Water, sees the axe. He could have gotten hit by Forward Smash with the axe being so much pressure there. Up air, and that missed mark. Just a little bit off, a little bit missed time off of the cross there. Double Nair for good measure and holds the shield on the back air. Again, catches him, pressing a button on the auto reticle. I throw our back. Oh, goes to forward instead. Oh, and the last hit of Lucha connecting. Very smartly holds on to his jump, though. Able to get back. Another angle downwards forward air. And the Holy Cross seats in the Holy Water. Holy crud! And reflects the Holy Cross. Oh my god, he had an answer for the forward smash with his own forward smash. Where are you going, boy? I'm telling I you, have man. answers. People think people think the Belmonts are mid-tier, man. I'm telling you, T3 making sure he makes them look like at least high tier. Yo, it's top tier. Especially when, when Nitro was playing them, like very religiously, they made him look very threatening. Yeah, but it's the way that T3 is accustomed to using his character, right? He's definitely learned how to optimize the Belmonts, even in such a matchup as where Palutena was probably considered to be a winning matchup. Down tilt, no forward air here, but he makes sure he dips extra low for that neutral air. Even stocks, but not percents. Team 3 has to make sure he watches out, or he'll find himself in the heels of Dragneel. I don't think T3 has a jump here, but he still lands on his feet. I love how when he he actually retreats, he throws the cross behind him just in case he uh, crosses up the uh, Dragneel there. Again, for that forward cross. air, yeah. yeah. Holy Cross could have confirmed it forward air, but he gets him with a forward tilt there. Still a lot of range on the forward tilt itself. Oh, barely nice. misses the tip. I like it too. He kind of saw himself kind of pivot a little bit afterwards and then try to go for another forward tilt. Make sure he still shield. has control. Yeah, this shield looking a little bit too small for Dragneel here. Holy Water again cannot hold on to that ledge and just barely misses the tip of the whip. Up out of shield, not gonna kill just yet. 186 after hit. I do like it too because he understands you lose invincibility faster at the ledge at higher percents. Yeah. And eventually that holy fire will pop you up and it will allow T3 to confirm afterwards. He knows that Dragno is pretty much at the mercy of his timing. Yeah, and T3 has been doing really well at scaring Dragno into what he wants him to do. And very nice cross up back air, but he's gonna get hit with a landing bear. Uh, landing dare and this bear. Oh Ooh. yo, we save our jumps in 2020. He even used a directional air dodge to try to push himself back close to the stage. That was very good movement from T3. Dom just getting around Dragno here and gets the up B out of the parry. You do get that extra frames to punish your opponent if you get the parry right. All right, trying to catch him on the jump with the up air. That was very good awareness from Dragno, but T3 did not give it to him. And gets a reflect of Holy Water, gets the dash attack with the intangibility on the shield. 50% mm -hmm. here, two stocks gone. Now one win a piece here. Drag if there is a comeback for Dragno, this is the opportunity to find it here. T3 Dome practically has this game to lose if he makes a mistake. I like what T3 Dome was doing there. He was actually alternating from the platform and onto the ground just to mix up Dragneel's timing there. And he had he had answers for almost anything. And oh. he gets with the up Oh, not right able there. to get the style finish. Right. Man, that man looking like he's getting the five stars for points in terms of style. All right, trying to get him with the tip of the whip of four tilt. Gets him back off stage with a forward air and his holy water. He's again, as you were saying before, at the mercy of the timing of T3's holy water. I guess with the back air? No, just barely misspacing it. Yeah. I love that duck under the back air as well. Oh, the Holy back. Water? Oh, oh my god! No, he's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. No, no, he's good. He's good. is he really okay? Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. This time, though, I'm telling you, man, this is T3 Dom's game to lose. But though, now I want one apiece. If he's, he's been making a couple mistakes, but he's been adjusting to his recoveries. He knows I have to watch out. Try to call out the down air with back the up air. Back air gonna uh, back throw gonna send him off stage. He uses the air dodge, holds the yes. jump. Very oh, nice. I recovery. love that he's using that jump because he knows what Dragonio wants is the neutral air from the lower side of the stage. All right, explosive flame gonna uh, push Holy Cross back, and no, it's he's, 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 he's not gonna it's, do it. It's the way. It's the way. He heavy way. boy. Heavy boy. Oh, and he calls him out no. on the down air the second time. He, he did it the first time, drag, uh, uh, but T3 air dodged that first time. That second time, he called him out on the uh, on the on the down air, and that was really he, see, and him that, on the yeah. And that was the problem is he rushed himself too much to get back to center stage and back.